In this video, I am going to show you how you can use AlloyDB Omni as a vector database store. AlloyDB can be used as a large language model tool and query engine using few techniques like generating vector embeddings based on an LLM. And we can also use this AlloyDB to store index and query vector embeddings using the PG vector extension. If you don't know what is AlloyDB Omni and how to install it, then I have separate detailed video on it and I will drop the link in video's description. AlloyDB is simply a cloud-managed cloud PostgreSQL service by Google Cloud Platform. And AlloyDB Omni lets you deploy the AlloyDB or PostgreSQL locally on your system or anywhere. So AlloyDB lets you use an LLM to translate a text string into an embedding. Embedding is the model's representation of the given text semantic meaning as a numeric vector. AlloyDB implements embedding as vector values as defined by the PG vector PostgreSQL extension. And you can use this generated embedding as an input in PG vector extension function. Now, I already have installed this and let me show you my PostgreSQL instance. Let me connect to it. So this is my OmniDB. And if I show you the databases, these are the databases which are currently installed on my system. Now let's create a new database and then connect to it. So I am going to create a new one called as Bison5 and then I'm going to connect to it. So the command is simple, create Bison5 and control L to clear the screen. Let's slash L. So you can see now we have Bison5 here and you can name it whatever you want. Let's connect or switch over to this Bison5. So now you can see the prompt has changed to Bison5. Okay, now let's quickly check which user I am using. I'm using database Python 5 as user Postgres on the local host, which is good. Now let's create a dummy table in this Python 5. So here what I'm doing is I'm just creating a table box, which has primary key as an ID, and then title and review as not null columns, and then author of the book and published date. Let's also populate this table with some dummy values. This is good. Let me clear the screen and then select steric from books. So there you go. So our populate, uh, table is populated with all five records. Now, in the next step, we need to create extension in this Postgres database or LIDB Omni so that it could talk to Google's machine learning services. And I am cascading it so that it could also install the vector extension which is needed. Now let's assign execute rights on this prediction function, which is ML predict row to this Postgres user, which is being used by this database as I showed you earlier. Let's also add a column for embeddings in the same table. So there you go. And this 758 is the dimension of the embedding model, which we are going to use. And for this example, I'm going to use the text embedding Gecko model from Vertex CI of Google Cloud Platform. So, uh, but in this command, I'm updating the books table and I'm uh, setting this review embedding column, which we just added to that table with the embeddings of all the other tables, uh, all the other, uh, all the review columns. Let's do it. It will take a bit of a time for these five rows. So if you have a big table, it will take a bit of a time depending upon your system too. That's done. Now, in order to improve performance, let's add an index to this and this index is using the scalar quantization technique to uh, improve the performance. So that is done because we have little data. So it has given us a hint, but that is fine. We can ignore it now. Now let's run some of the commands. Now, what we are basically doing here is we have these rows, right? So what we want to do is that whenever someone will make some queries on this review column because we have embeddings on them, we have semantic similarity. Whenever we will pass these values to the large language model, large language model will be able to search for similar 
sentiment or words in this existing data. So for example, we have this book table where we have reviews of books. Some reviews might be positive, some might be negative. For example, this review says this is a great read. This review says this book is not outstanding. So it's a negative review, it's a positive review. So if we ask our model by using this data, which titles have good reviews, and even if we don't really put in the exact values, then this large language model should be able to do this semantic search on our table by using this vertex AI from our LIDB Omni. And let me clear this screen so that it will be visible and I'll show you the query which you need to use. Sorry. Let me grab the query for it. And it's a simple SQL query which I'm going to use. You can see that I'm asking it that select the title from this table, order by review embedding and check this embedding. Only return me the book review, uh, only return me the book which have good review. So wherever the sentiment would be good, it is going to return me the titles of the good review. And similarly, if I am asking it to okay, give me the book title which doesn't have a good review, then it is going to give me this one, which has a below average one. So instead of exact matches or something like that, it is just searching on the semantic. And it is giving me uh, the result on the basis of semantic similarity. So this is uh, how you can use this LIDB Omni as a vector database. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you're struggling to implement it, let me know and I'll be happy to answer it. And uh, if you have any other uh, confusion, let me know. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.